All right, I haven't used this fruit in a while. So let's have a try if it is revamped. Pressing transform. Holy cow, it still walks so slow. Let's try mob this time. Yeah, beat him out of his living daylights. Now, hey yeah, now my Buddha Mastery is 200. Before I even start on the review, Human Buddha is one of the best box fruits to ever exist in the game, but it's also one of the fruits I freaking hate the most. It also has a connection to PvP, where most of the time I get beaten up by Buddha users. Now, here is a little history about the Buddha fruit. The fruit used to be called Human Buddha, which I prefer to call the fruit, fruit but was simply named to Buddha to avoid plagiarism. In update 1, Human Buddha was the most expensive box fruit at the time. If you wanted to buy the Robux, the price was expensive as Dragon's price for Robux. Unlike today's price, Buddha cost exactly a million dollars. What were they thinking? How the heck was Buddha's Robux price so freaking expensive during the old days? Oh, okay. I kind of overreacted there. But back to the history. Buddha sort of lost popularity during later updates in Blocks Piece. Yep. Blocks Fruits used to be called Blocks Piece until 2020. It descended out of popularity until the biggest update ever, Update 15, was announced, and many people were possibly preparing for Awakened Buddha. As update 15 came out, raids were overfilling with toxicity, and boom, people kept ruin constantly ruining your farming thanks to the damn fruit. It has remained like this ever since, and it still occurs around today. Alright, onto the showcase. The first move is to simply transform into a yellow giant that walks so slow. Look at the damn speed, it's so slow. It takes you approximately three and a half seconds to de-transform and transform again. However, this isn't considered an attack because you simply transform into a giant Buddha. Trust me, the other move's cooldowns are tedious as heck. The second move is called Impact and you just create a yellow ball and slowly blast it at the enemy. It takes two seconds for the ball to blast at the enemy. Oh my gosh, is it slow. Also. Look, look at the cooldown time. It takes approximately 11 seconds to reuse the move again, and it feels like 45 minutes. The third move is Buddha Leap, which has been revamped three times throughout the history of Blog's P slash Fruits, and the only Buddha move to revamp more than once. The first version was boring and dull, the character just moves into a specific path and stomps on the enemy. The second version was decent. You just jump slightly and stomp on them. Look at the third version. The cooldown takes around 15 seconds. The final move, the most powerful of all, but the most dull cooldown ever, is Buddha Explosion. You just stand still for half a second and suddenly you just explode the area around you, impacting enemies nearby. It's like a giant in a movie where it's being stunned and just shouts and knocks back the people attacking it. The cooldown time is around 23 seconds, which many fourth moves to take to cool down. If you think that is over, it is not. There is an awakened Buddha, like I mentioned before. That's just to remind you if you suffer from memory loss. Now, Buddha raids are considered to be the hardest raids for awakening fruits. I have around 8,000 fragments, but I plan to spend it on Shark Man Karate. Alright. Here goes. Once you arrive at the raid intermission area, you buy Microchip for 100 grand, as always. Now, I'm going to select Buddha. Now, I am really bad at raids. I attempted Awaken Flame once and Awaken Life twice, but the raids were freaking impossible to beat, even though the flame raid is the easiest. I waited for 15 minutes for anyone to join me at the Buddha raid, and I eventually got two people helping me for Awaken Buddha. 
we finally got the raid started, and I was stupid to figure out that you have to unequip the raid ship to start. A raid. We started the raid and the player was spawning sea beasts everywhere. Then all of a sudden, he left. First two islands were easy as pie, but then the third island was alright. But here is the bad thing. The Buddha users are a pain in the butt. They just explode every 15 milliseconds and it feels like they are abusing the Buddha cooldown. Look at this. Look how they explode in the freaking cooldown. It's freaking unfair. What were inside their minds? Then you get to the Waken Buddha boss and holy crap is he freaking impossible. He just stuns at everything and his powers just spread across the entire island. No matter how far away you are, he just jumps up in the air and just shoots yellow explosive beams faster than a dog can piss on a tree. I got low on health I ended up getting obliterated by the boss. Grr, let's go. Damn. <laughs> this raid is dead, putrid, and irritating for a human being. The Buddha raid is a test of deception, misleading, and manipulation. It deserves to be forgotten by Bloxroot players. Why, for God's sake, do you need at least one player for Buddha raids? This is a dense, irritating miniature battle in hell. A awakened Buddha is beyond impossible and it should be sunk in oblivion. Human Buddha? More like giant piss slug. Goodbye, you useless sluggish fruit.